Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. On the first day of the week, two of the disciples were going to a village called Emmaus, about 11 kilometers from Jerusalem, and talking with each other about all these things that had happened. While they were talking and discussing, Jesus himself came near and went with them, but their eyes were kept from recognizing him. And Jesus said to them, What are you discussing with each other while you walk along? They stood still, looking sad. Then one of them, whose name was Cleopas, answered him, Are you the only stranger in Jerusalem who does not know the things that have taken place there in these days? Jesus asked them, What things? They replied, The things about Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and leaders handed him over to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one to redeem Israel. Yes, and besides all this, it is now the third day since these things took place. Moreover, some women of our group astounded us. They were at the tomb early this morning, and when they did not find his body there, they came back and told us that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. Some of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said, but they did not see him. Then Jesus said to them, Oh, how foolish you are, and how slow of heart, to believe all that the prophets have declared. Was it not necessary that the Messiah should suffer these things and then enter into his glory? Then, beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them the things about himself in all the scriptures. As they came near the village to which they were going, he walked ahead as if he were going on. But they urged him strongly, saying, Stay with us, because it is almost evening, and the day is now nearly over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognized Jesus, uh, and he vanished from their sight. The two disciples said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while he was talking to us on the road, while he was opening the scriptures to us? That same hour they got up and returned to Jerusalem, and they found the eleven and their companions gathered together. These were saying, The Lord has risen indeed, and he has appeared to Simon. Then the two disciples told what had happened on the road, and how the Lord had been made known to them in the breaking of the bread. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. So those are uh, very beautiful readings, as always, but we are in this uh, walking with Jesus, risen Jesus, the one who gave his life for us, and uh, we should ask for the grace uh, to recognize him, uh, because uh, sometimes he is in our midst and we don't uh, fully recognize him. Uh, and even uh, the first reading talked about uh, this man who was uh, begging, uh, he was begging for money, but he was begging also to be healed. and. With uh, John and Peter, uh, he received uh, his wish, and so he was healed. 
And so this is uh, what we should be asking as well for us to be healed from our lack of sight sometimes when we cannot recognize uh, Jesus. And it was interesting to me at the end of this first reading that they said they recognized him as the one who used to sit and ask for alms at the beautiful gate. And so this man uh, that we don't um, hear about too much uh, from the prophets and everything was recognized. And so for us, uh, Jesus was announced by the prophets and um, even the beauty of creation reveals that there is a God and obviously uh, God is way higher than all that. Uh, but Jesus uh, became man, gave his life for us, and then uh, as he had risen from the dead, it was difficult for the people to recognize him. Even uh, those who had been very intimate with him, the apostles who had shared the meal, who had been there at the Last Supper, uh, even Mary Magdalene, who was at the foot of the cross, and so she was not able to recognize him because she was trying to use, I mentioned yesterday, her intellect, and today she was trying to use her physical eyes. And so sometimes we also want to be able to touch, and Thomas will instruct us on that, Thomas who's a twin, and sometimes we, we say, I don't believe until I touch him or I see him. And so we need to ask for the grace of the Holy Spirit to go beyond that and to be able to see with the eyes of our heart. And when we do that, and this is uh, one of the comments at the end of this uh, gospel today, the disciples there said, were not our hearts burning within us while he was talking to us on the road, while he was opening the scriptures to us? And so it is mostly with the heart that we can really grasp on who Jesus is. Jesus who's our, our lover, the lover of our souls. And so let us ask for our hearts uh, not to be slow. He said, oh, how foolish you are. And I think he's talking to me, and he's probably talking to you as well, for how foolish you are and how slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have declared. And uh, I really like that gospel as well because this is a pilgrimage one. This is one of walking. And at first, they're walking in the wrong direction. There is only one way, and this one way is with Jesus. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and they're walking the wrong way. And then when finally they recognize that this is Jesus, uh, they're walking and they're following what he asked them to do, which is to stay in Jerusalem and to prepare to receive the power of the Holy Spirit. And so let us ask for that grace today. And with Mother Mary, let us uh, ask for our eyes, the eyes of our hearts to be opened so that we might recognize Jesus, especially in the Blessed Sacrament, in his real presence and may our hearts be burning and we have this beautiful candle right now here uh, our hearts may they be burning to share that fire of love that is the infinite love of god who gave his life for us and so mother mary help us and may this uh, holy spirit fire be contagious so that our hearts burning might help in other people to do recognize jesus and Sorry, God, for the times that we don't recognize you. Help us to have uh, today the grace of the Eucharistic amazement to really uh, be enamored by your real presence and your infinite love so that we might share the glory of your resurrection, especially in the situations of death that we encounter in these times. Give us uh, the joy and the peace that you only can give. Amen.